logarithm probably one of the smallest and easiest chapter of mathematics the question on your screen is an independent question which was asked in j advanced 2022 and not only in 2022 previously it has been observed that almost every year we observe a question from j advanced from the logarithm chapter independent question and not only in j advanced we have we have observed independent question from this chapter in j main examination as well okay so this is one of the easy kill question from j advanced and uh, we are going to solve it right away but before i solve i want to know how many of you can solve this question without watching the solution please comment down if you have solved this question without watching the solution okay now let us get straight into into the solution part okay so if we read the question carefully the product of all positive real values of x satisfying this particular equation is what they are asking okay so if you know basic properties if you know fundamentals related to logarithm you will be easily able to crack this question okay so the very first thing which we observe is the base of logarithm over here is 5 that is first thing and also one more thing that here variable raised to power variable is here and on the right hand side you can clearly see again something raised to power something right so i have always told you whenever you see something raised to power something there is a possibility that you should take logarithm on both the sides so what we are going to do is we are going to take logarithm on both sides right but when we take logarithm we have to fix the base as well so clearly it is given in the question the hint is already given in the question that you have to take base 5 of the logarithm so now if i take log log of this expression to the base 5 on both the sides what do i get i get log of the base is 5 and x is there power is what 16 log x to the base 5 whole cube minus 68 log x to the base 5 bracket close and on the right hand side we are going to have log 5 to the base 5 power minus 16 okay so this is what we have got now can you clearly see this is your power right this is your power so this power by the property by the help of property this power will bounce in front so this whole thing if i delete the whole thing from here i can just delete it right away okay and i can what i can do is i can just write it over here which is 16 log of x to the base 5 whole cube minus 68 log of x to the base 5 bracket close and on the right hand side again the 16 minus 16 will come in front log 5 to the base 5 is what one so this is minus 16 finally and over here this is log x to the base 5 multiplication of this now it is very obvious that many a times i am seeing this log x to the base 5 log x to the base 5 so very easy that you have it is very obvious that you have to put log x to the base 5 is equal to t can we do that okay so we are going to get 16 t cube minus 68 t and outside i have one more t which is equals to minus 16 so this is clearly a bi quadratic power 4 uh, equation in t so if i solve it 16 t raised to power 16 t raised to power 4 16 t raised to power 4 minus 68 t square okay that means there is no term related to t cube and then we are having minus 68 t square and then we are having 0 t and last but not the least we are having a constant term plus 16 is equals to 0 this is my equation right now let me just tell you that uh, this will have four values of t t1 t2 t3 and t4 right four roots right what we are looking for is let's not forget positive real values of x basically product of positives what we are looking for is x1 x2 x3 x4 four values of t will corresponding corresponds to four value of x so we are looking for x1 multiply x2 multiply x3 multiply x4 so over here what is this t1 corresponding to t1 i'll be having log of x1 to base 5 this is log of x1 to base 5 this is log of sorry x2 x3 to the base 5 and last log of x3 to the base 5. okay 
Now, if I talk about sum of roots of this equation related to d, t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 plus t5. So, t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 will be equals to minus d by a. Okay, and over here you can clearly see that minus 0 by 16 is minus d by a. So, 0, the value will be equals to 0. Now, let us plug in the value of t1 in terms of x1. So, that is going to be log of x1 to the base 5 plus log of x2 to the base 5 plus log of x3 to the base 5 plus log of x4 to the base 5. And this is nothing but 0. Okay. Now, property of logarithm. Sum gets converted into product. Log a plus log b plus log c plus log b. Right. So, this is going to be log of x1, x2, x3, x4. And please remember, we are looking for product only. So, sum we have considered, but eventually we are going to get the product. So, clearly log what is 0? So, log 1 is 0. So, this is going to be 1, 1 is the correct answer of this particular question. So, the product of all is, is what? 1 is the correct. Now, what is the action point? I have solved this question for you. What you need to do is you need to solve all format PYQs of previous year. So, all the formats they have asked from this particular chapter, you have to cover it all. You have, but before that, you have to understand all the basic properties of logarithm, all the fundamentals of logarithm. Once you are done with that, go ahead and solve your J advanced PYQ from this chapter because there are high chances that you will be able to crack the question from logarithm in 2024 and in 2025 as well. Okay.